I hear this question all the time. I'm interested in getting a prenup, but I'm already married. Can I still do one? Yes, it's called a postnuptial agreement or postnup for short. In most states, it's the exact same thing as a prenup, except it's signed after the date of marriage, meaning for most jurisdictions, everything you can cover in a prenup, you can cover in a postnup. In some states, you're more limited in what you can include in a postnup. But for the most part, the types of things that people want to address in a prenup, they also want to address in a postnup. At a minimum, which assets and debts are mine, yours, and ours, and whether one spouse would pay the other alimony or spousal support if the marriage came to an end. As of today, you can get a post up in 49 out of the 50 states, everywhere except Iowa. That's a topic for another video. So why might you want a post up? Many people realize during their marriage that the default prenup, meaning their state's laws, basically don't allow married couples to classify their assets and debts as mine, yours, and ours. There's only ours. And there are many legitimate reasons why you might want that separation. Many couples live with some level of separation between their finances anyway. It's just not formalized. Maybe one spouse saves heavily for retirement and the other spouse puts all of their money into trying to build a business. And they want to formalize that one spouse's retirement belongs to that spouse and the other spouse's business belongs to them. For some couples, there's been a crisis in the relationship and they recognize that divorce is a possibility in the future and they want to determine what would happen while they get along well enough to have that negotiation. They don't want to leave this decision to a later date when it could involve lawyers and get very expensive. And yet some other couples may have a situation where something's changed and they want to document their desires. For example, maybe one spouse receives an inheritance and they want to pay off the mortgage on the marital home, but they want to document that if they sell that house or if they get divorced in the future, that spouse gets their money back. They get their inheritance back. Or maybe one spouse is taking out loans for school or to start a business and they want to shield their spouse from that debt. For other couples, they meant to get a prenup and they just didn't get it done before the wedding date. Or maybe you just want to opt out of your state's laws and define your relationship, your financial relationship with your spouse on your own. Any of these are legitimate reasons to seek a postnup. So if you're interested, we can help you schedule a consultation with our office at prenups.com.